Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? So my name is Christopher Huriwa. I'm a Kaikaraka here at Karaisi. And we've seen that little part of that reading happen here. We've seen farmers that are hungry, they have no kai, that have come here to look for that, for that kai, for nourishment. On that note here at Karaisi, we're starting a new ministry called Te Kaupata Manaki. As you came in, you might have seen to the left of the door, there's a little box there with some kai in it. Here at Tikarai, we're going to make that a, a norm here. That along with whatever other gifts we bring, each week we'll bring a can, something, some non-perishable kai for the whānau here. And we'll have it here at Tikarai, for whānau when they need kai, they know where to come. And so that's part of the new ministry we're launching here today. Kia ora, Kia ora. Lord, when was it that we saw you thirsty and gave you something to drink? Kia ora whanau, my name is Zaila, I'm a manukaraki here at Zikaraiti. Like Chris, I've also seen whanau that have come here thirsting for knowledge, uh, thirsting for something positive to put their energy into. Uh, once upon a time I was one of them that was wandering astray with no purpose and I had a deep, deep thirst for something very, very positive to put my, all of my energy into. Karaiti found me and the positive of that is that my whanau has come back to church. After 30, almost 30 years, I think, my mum started coming back to church every Sunday. So I thank God for that, and I thank all the whānau here at Karaiti for supporting me. Lord, when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? Kia ora, my name is Kimi Rewi, I'm also a Manukaraki, a youth minister for Te Karaiti Te Whaurenga Waka. I have the absolute privilege of doing the young people ministry, the tamariki, through to our rangatahi, as well with a few other leaders that we have here. Uh, what I like about this is, is my ministry, it is, is something very, very um, dear to my heart. Many of the rangatahi you see sitting here were strangers walking past the church, and myself and the young people that were here reach out to them. <coughs> What fascinates me is how many young people there are out there, especially our young Māori, that really just want somebody to talk, to see them, to hug them. And we have that here at Te Karaiti, which is truly beautiful. Uh, we are currently doing confirmation classes, and our young people are learning to be the arms, the heart, the eyes, the mouth of Jesus, to serve our people. And you never know, it could be Jesus we need. Lord, when was it that we saw you naked and gave you clothing? Kia ora whanau, my name is Michael Tamihire. Um, I've been a part of this, uh, this whanau here at the Kraiti for a little while. Not as long as some, but it's... Uh, Really, it's become home for me, an amazing place to come to. Um, and even just thinking about the whakapapa of those who have gone before us and we weave ourselves into that. Unlike maybe Chris and Zion, we see, saw people who were hungry uh, and were thirsty. I wasn't literally naked. <laughs> but you know, the, what we've come here and gathered is, is that kind of clothing, that kākau, arwa, that kurawai of love, uh, of acceptance a place where you can belong uh, and where everyone will have aroha for you. So, kira tata. Lord, when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? Um, you know, Margaret in South Auckland gets quite a bad rap uh, in the media. Um, <clears throat> sometimes, though, so, there's reasons for that. Māngere and its surroundings are the poorest urban community in this country. Uh, the poorest community in this country. And uh, what does it mean to be in prison? Well, we have many of our whānau uh, who live here and across the country who are imprisoned in all sorts of ways. Drugs, alcohol, violence. Uh, we can have prisons in our homes. Um, and how do we free ourselves from that? We have a positive vision for our lives, for our whānau. Uh, and so hopefully we've seen this happen here in Kaisi, 
finally have that positive vision so that they can be released from the imprisonment they find themselves in. And we've seen that happen here many times. Uh, and when we do it, we do it to the Lord. Okay.